Welcome to the course overview for the full Oxnam. First up, the race site is 27 to 28 kilometres down South Ear Road if you're coming from the Christchurch end. Turn left just after Clarkville School on Tram Road and then just follow South Ear Road for 27 to 28 kilometres. Uh, you'll see in this image here, this is the, uh, sort of the, the entrance to the site area. Um, if you happen to be going out there for a recce, you'll see an Oxman sign, you'll see that prefabricated building there, um, and the lake is in behind that. The transition is just to the left. Race site will look like you can see in this image here. The site is on a private farm, so you cannot go out there, unfortunately, and do any reconnaissance work. Um, but you'll see the transition laid out here, the exit and entry points. The parking will be through a gate about halfway down the field, uh, so it is a slightly different layout to what we had in the very first year. When you collect your race numbers, you'll get a number, as you can see in the image here, that is to be worn on the front during the run leg. It's optional if you wear it on the bike uh, or during the swim leg. You will also receive a set of stickers. Within that set, you'll have a number to be placed around the seat tube on your bike. You'll have uh, two stickers to go on your helmet. The large one goes on the front, the smaller one goes on the side, and then there'll be one additional bag tag if you do wish to drop your bag at the bag drop area for during the race. For those of you doing the triathlon option, the swim start will be in front of the lake house, as you can see in this image here, um, between a buoy and the jetty, and then you're going to follow a several lap course. So if you watch this image closely, you can see the start sign up at the top left corner. You'll swim one complete lap around the yellow buoys, then you'll swim a second complete lap around the yellow buoys, then when you finish that second lap, you will swim across to the swim exit point and go into the transition area. So it's two and a little bit laps. The duathlon option start line is alongside the transition area. You can see the yellow box in this image here. So that will be your start point. You will start at the same time as the swimmers. You run across the paddock, up onto the stock bank, the same way that you would uh, when you start the second run. When you get to the shingle road, you'll turn right and you'll run towards the finish line. You'll turn at the run turn point and you'll go out and complete one lap. However, towards the end of that lap, you will turn right and head back to the transition uh, area the same way that you came in. So at the end of that full lap, you do not run all the way to the finish line again. You'll turn right and you'll head back to transition, get on your bike and then follow the same course as the triathletes. Bike course is two laps, and here goes a review via Relive. Some key notes with the bike ride, there is two long bridges you go across, uh, they will be controlled by marshals but you still need to be very aware of what the traffic is doing. The location of these bridges is at around about the 2km mark on Points Road, so early in the lap, and then the second major bridge is at around about 39 to 40 kilometres as you are coming back towards transition on Harewood Road. There is also several small bridges, these will not be marshalled, and most of them you have the right of way but there are a couple that you do not have the right of way. If there's traffic coming from the other end it's your responsibility to obey the road code and uh, give way if required. There is also two key intersections to cross. Um, early on the bike ride you cross Tram Road and Oxford Road. Um, again these will be marshalled but you will need to slow down to make sure it is safe to cross. Uh, then towards uh, Oxford, you will be making one right hand turn, again this will be managed by traffic management, but you need to be ready to stop if required. 
If you're a faster athlete, you do need to be aware that on the start of your second lap, you may encounter some of the tail end of the junior race. They will be turning in front of you um, just before tram road, so please be aware of that, and uh, if it means slowing down for a couple of seconds to be safe, please do so and allow the juniors to make their turn. There will be a bottle swap point um, that will be across from the transition area, so water and pure will be available. Uh, there will be a target area for you to throw your empty bottles, uh, and then you can collect fresh bottles. There will also be one toilet there. A couple of the rules, there's no drafting whatsoever. You're not allowed to wear any music devices during the bike ride. The roads are not closed at all to traffic. Uh, and the key one is be nice out there to your fellow competitors, be nice to the public, and uh, let's make sure we come back here with a good name intact and the race can carry on for many years ahead. As far as the bike course profile goes, uh, you've got a really nice mixture of flat, gentle grinding up and a couple of uh, small hills as you can see in the profile here so the first spike is getting over summer hill um, which is not steep at all but it's a nice little break then you grind up german road to the, the highest point and then you have a really nice fast finish all the way down to the transition coming down hereward road so if the wind's up that is going to be a very fast second half of the bike ride also if the wind's up uh, you will be and as we'll get some crosswinds from time to time, so uh, choose your wheels accordingly. The run course is relatively straightforward, it's a mixture of running on shingle roads and sealed roads. Coming out of transition, uh, you'll run across the paddock um, along the bank of the lake, then turn right when you get to the shingle road, proceed towards the finish area, go to the run turn and turn there, and then you'll proceed to do three laps of the run course. There is an aid station you can see in this image midway through each lap, so you can pass that on both ways. Uh, if it's an extremely hot day, we'll also have sponges available and we will add another water station at the turn point. So plenty of aid out there. The aid stations will supply pure sports drink, uh, gels, coke, lollies, bananas and water. If you are doing the aqua bike option, your race will finish when you enter the transition area at the end of the bike ride, so that will be the end of your race. However, we do appreciate that it's nice to be able to run down a finishing chute, so it is totally up to you if you would like to do the 1.2 kilometer leg to the finish line, either walking or running, so you'll follow the pink line much like the triathletes and duathletes will be doing, uh, but instead when you get to the finish area you will not go to the run turn, you'll run straight down the finishing chute and collect your finishers medal. Alternatively, you can just come out of the transition area, call that a day and then wander over to the finish area to collect your finishers medal. So just to reiterate, doing that run leg uh, or walk to the finish is not part of your race, um, but you're welcome to do it. If you're uh, part of a team, uh, the changeover point is at the designated bike rack for your team, which will be numbered. Uh, all you do is change over the, tra the timing transponder, which will be uh, Velcroed around your ankle. So it just need to be transferred from your um, swimmer or runner doing the first leg onto your cyclist and then onto the second runner. All three team members are welcome to run down the finishing shoot together. So we've just been through a brief overview of the event. Further details are available from the race manual that will be available via the website. So have a fantastic race. A huge thanks to the Spark family for allowing us uh, to use the lake and the surrounding areas on their farm. Please respect the farm area uh, and thank them if you see them. This race is brought to you by the Canterbury Triathlon Club. If you want to get more involved in our sport, please go to canterburytriclub.co.nz. Join up to the club and support uh, us in providing races and a triathlon environment for everybody living in Canterbury. Have a fantastic race.